Welcome back travelers to another video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Steph and I love giving people free travel advice on all things Peru here on my channel. So if you're interested in that, definitely be sure to subscribe, hit that little bell notification button and change your settings to all so that you never miss a video. In today's video, I want to talk to you about Gamarra. Okay, Gamarra isn't necessarily a tourist destination spot. In fact, if you're thinking about moving to Peru, and you're thinking about maybe even opening a business related to clothing or selling clothing, making clothing, then this video is definitely going to be most useful and helpful to you. Here in Lima, we have specific areas of the city that are known for providing certain services or catering to certain needs. Okay, so we have like an area of the city that is known for buying furniture. We also have certain parts of the city where you can find all things electronics, or things related to makeup, jewelry, your contacts or glasses. So all of that to say that we have a part of the city here in Lima that specifically caters to clothes and selling clothes or manufacturing clothes. And that place is called Gamarra, also known as the Gamarra Fashion District. Gamarra is a bustling commercial and industrial area located in the district of La Victoria here in Lima, Peru. Gamarra is one of the largest textile and clothing manufacturing hubs. It's a very lively, sometimes a little chaotic place to visit. Gamarra is famous for its extensive textile and garment production, and it is home to countless clothing manufacturers, textile factories, and workshops. It is literally a crucial hub for the fashion industry here in Peru because basically I think most companies that sell clothes, most brands that sell clothes, have their clothes made in Gamarra. Another fun fact about Gamarra is that Gamarra caters to both wholesale and retail customers. So you can find textiles, fabrics, clothing, and even accessories at bulk rates, making Gamarra a favorite spot for both entrepreneurs and business owners everywhere. The great variety and affordable stylish clothing that you can find at Gamarra is also what makes this any shopper's paradise. At Gamarra, you can find just about anything as it relates to clothes especially. So anything from everyday casual wear to more formal attire, or even high-end fashion. You'll find a bunch of different stores that represent local and even international clothing brands, and you can even find really high quality counterfeit clothing items. I remember one time I bought a Calvin Klein bra from the department store here in Lima, and that bra came apart so quickly, and I was like so mad about it because it cost me a certain amount of money to buy it at the department store here, okay? And in Gamarra, you can find Calvin Klein underwear and bras and whatever for like half the price or even less. And one of my friends, I remember one time, had the same bra as me, the Calvin Klein bra. And she got it at Gamarra and her bra was still good, even though she bought it around the same time that I did. And it just like made me so mad that I spent all this extra money unnecessarily. I could have gotten me some cheaper counterfeit Calvin Klein stuff that would have lasted me a lot longer and cost me a lot less. Is it right to buy counterfeits? I will leave that up to you. We all have to make our own decisions, but I'm just upset. Even though I went and bought my things the right way, the correct way, you know, in authorized places, like the quality was trash. I don't know what happened. Something else I wanna mention is that in Gamarra, you will typically find a lot of fast fashion. So you will have a variety, but the clothing won't necessarily last. It won't necessarily always be the best quality and it will be more affordable. However, if you do wanna find things that are of a better quality, maybe you're willing to pay a little bit more, then you definitely have to look around and Gamarra is so big that it might take you, you know, a, a handful of trips to go around and try to find the places that actually sell really good quality items. Gamarra is full of a lot of places that we would consider to be shopping centers, but here in Peru we call them galerias. So you'll have places like Galeria Santa Lucia, Galeria El Rey, Galeria Guisado. You'll have a different number of galerias and each galeria is specifically known a lot of times for a specific kind of thing. So some are known for like wholesale production or some are known for like nicer, trendier clothes or some are known for maybe all things fancy weddings and wedding parties or special events or whatever. So you have to go around to the galerias to check them out and see who has what you're looking for. These galerias are in old buildings and there is no AC. 
So it can be a pain going to Gamarra, especially in the summer when it's blazing hot and there's just so many people there because it is a very crowded space a lot of times. Um, and yeah, it can just be hell basically going up and down all these flights of steps with no air conditioning and all this heat with all the people. It's just, it's a lot. <laughs> when you go to Gamarra, especially when you go to Galerias, the big shopping center buildings, okay? Those Galerias are full of stands, okay? Individual little stands, stores. And when you go to these Galerias, typically a lot of them won't let you buy just one item. They'll require you to buy two items because I'm guessing it's just better for their profit margin for them to sell you two items from the get-go instead of individual items so that's something to be mindful of when you go is they won't sometimes sell you just one item of clothing you'll have to get two in different colors similar things but just different colors if you go to stores outside of the galeria typically you shouldn't have a problem just buying one item of clothing but it's within the galerias that they will typically require you to purchase things in a wholesale way as opposed to retail. Another pro about buying at Gamarra, especially if you buy something from a galeria, is that if for whatever reason the clothes just don't fit you properly, then a lot of times at the very top of the galeria, there is usually the people who manufacture the clothes and who alter the clothes as well for you. So you can go up there and have the clothes altered to your measurement so that it fits better. And then you can just go about your merry way and you have clothes kind of custom tailored for you. A lot of these galerias that I mentioned typically have anywhere from like maybe eight to 12 floors more or less. There are elevators in, I think most of them, even though they're older buildings, um, but you just have to wait a long time sometimes for the elevators or the elevator won't go to every floor. It'll just go to a certain number of floors. And so you just get on or off at the floor nearest to where you want to get off at, basically. Two more things I want to mention is that in Gamarra, typically we don't have dressing rooms available in most stands. Okay, that's just not going to be the case. You're going to have those like circular curtain things available. that You just wrap the curtain around you and you have to change. If you even have that, a lot of places don't have that. You just kind of try your clothes on on top of what you're already wearing. If you're a woman, then I definitely recommend that you wear a tighter shirt and maybe some leggings or something. So that way you can just put your shirts on or your jeans on on top of what you already are wearing. And that way it's just easier to try on, especially if they don't have any kind of changing station available for you. And I recommend that you definitely always ask for your receipt just in case you have any issues with the clothes when you go home and maybe something's wrong with it, maybe it doesn't fit quite right, then you are able to go back and just double check with them to make sure that if you have any issues with the clothes that you can always come back to exchange it. Um, and most of the time they will let you exchange things no problem, especially when you have the receipt available and not a whole lot of time has passed between you purchasing this item and then returning to exchange it. In Gamarra, you will find lots of street food available. There's also lots of places you can go to eat in the area as well, but there's definitely a lot of like food carts and stuff. And that's where I found the lady with the multicolored picarones that I mentioned in my previous video. So if you have not seen that video yet, be sure to click up here to go watch that video afterwards. But yeah, if you're in Gamarra in the area and you also wanna try picarones, then be sure to go find that lady in Gamarra. She told me she was in the same spot every day. So try to find her. If not, you'll have to maybe walk around to try to find her or someone else who's selling picarones. Okay, that's it for this video. I really hope that you found it useful and maybe you'll get to go to Gamarra to just get a little bit of that cultural experience for yourself. This is how a lot of People here in Peru, typical Peruvians go and buy their clothes a lot of times because it is a lot more affordable. You do have a lot more variety there and you get to pick and choose your quality in terms of your clothes. If you want to spend a little more or spend a little less, it's just up to you. I haven't really gone shopping a whole lot these last few years, but I personally just kind of became put off by buying clothes at the local department stores that I normally used to go to in the past just because I started getting outraged, me personally, at the cost of the clothes because I felt like they were charging ridiculous prices for the quality of the clothes that they were selling in these department stores. Like if at the department store something is 70 or 80 soles, 
in my mind, based on the quality and everything, I'm like, I can get this for 30 something agamarra and I'm gonna be saving all this money and I'm gonna get more clothes because I like getting more bang for my buck people, okay? I'm just frugal like this. And it would just outrage me how sometimes I would see like sweaters or something for over a hundred soles. And I'm like, that does not cost that much, okay? For the quality of this sweater, like you are overcharging for this item just because you're a department store and because of the, I guess like prestige or whatever of the brand of the name of the convenience or whatever. So sometimes I just, I'm a rebel, I'm an Aquarius, okay? I'm, I'm just gonna be like, screw you. I'm just gonna go to Gamarra, right? And so this year I finally decided to go to Gamarra a couple of times and just see what it's like again because I hadn't been there in years. And yeah, there's so many different varieties there and qualities. I went and explored different galerias um, for the purposes of making this video. And it literally took me like three hours <laughs> probably to get through like one galeria. And I had to go like up 10, 12 flights of stairs <laughs> going through all the floors just to check everything out and see and get familiarized with the different galerias because like I said, different galerias specialize in different types of clothing. So I wanted to go and be familiar with what each galeria has to offer. And there's still more galerias that I have to go and check out. So I only got to like see three or four, which is why I can't yet even specifically recommend certain galerias for certain things, maybe in the future when I have more time and patience to go, because it does take a lot of time and I'm very thorough. So I don't just walk up and down the floors really fast like i take my time i check everyone out i you know touch the clothing i check out you know and find out more about the prices or the materials or whatever so anyway um i got this linen shirt at amara which i like because i really wanted linen because it's breathable and i just like how nicer i guess the quality looks because i'm just very picky about like shirts that wrinkle and i'm trying to find like material that doesn't wrinkle easily and i felt like linen was a good fit for me so you know i went and got this for like i think 30 something soles i think i had to buy two for 32 soles each or something like that and you know I'm, I'm satisfied with what i got from this lady that i purchased at and i think it was in um galeria guisado that i got this at so anyway i really hope that this video has helped you in some kind of way if you want to start a clothing business I'm not the person to help you with that. I'm sorry. Please don't drop comments in the comment section asking me how to start a business because I don't know. I don't know how to start a clothing business, but I hope this information has served you enough for you to go and check it out, do your own research, get your own contacts, you know, and make it work for you. And I wish you the best of luck if that's the case. So if you have enjoyed this video, please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and dropping me a comment down below. Let me know if you've been to Gamarra before. Or if you plan on going to Gamarra now as a result of this video, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, be sure to do so. If you want more content on Peru, hit that bell notification button and change your settings to all so that you're always notified of new videos when I have them out here on the internet. And if you want to stay in touch with me, be sure to connect with me on TikTok and Instagram as Evolving with Steph. The links to my social media will be in the description of this video for you to easily just be directed to down below. And that's basically it. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate you. Thank you for being here and I'll see you in an upcoming video. Bye.